This is going to be a product review of the GoSund Wi-Fi Smart Plug. This is their model WP2. The Smart Plug can handle 10 amps. If you've never used a Smart Plug before, the advantage of these is that if you have it in a room where a child doesn't know how to turn on the lights, you can control the lights from your cell phone. You can control them from the app, the Smart Life app. You can control it from Alexa Dot. You can control it from Alexa with your cell phone, or you can control it with Google. These work with the iPhone and the Android. Now, one beautiful feature of the WP2 model that I have not seen with anyone else is you get two outlets by only using one socket on the wall. So you plug this in and you end up getting two outlets. No one has that right now. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. The main way of setting this up is you will install the Smart Life app on your cell phone and after that you will link your Smart Life app to the socket. I'll show you how to do that. And the instructions also explain how to link your Alexa Dot, your Alexa account, to the Smart Life app so that you have voice control with the Dot or Google Home Assistant. So let's get started. If you don't want to use the Smart Life app, you can install the GoSund app. They have their own app for their smart plugs, smart sockets. I'm going to plug the socket into a power outlet and we have the flashing lights that's the important thing you want these to be flashing and then I'm going to go over since I'm using Smart Life I have Smart Life installed I'm going to add so I'm going to be clicking on the plus to add a device and what are my options here we have lighting we have socket small appliances what we want to look for is a socket and we don't want it to be Bluetooth, we want it to be just a socket. So I'll click on that. We're going to be adding a device, power on the device, confirm the indicator is flashing, blinking rapidly. I'm going to click on that. You're going to have to put in your password for your uh, router, your Wi-Fi router. After you do that, I've already got mine in there, I'm going to confirm it. And you should hear something in the background that my Alexa has detected this and we should also see something on the screen at about 10 seconds. I just heard a click. I just heard a click on this thing. So we've already gone to the red light which means it's pairing. It's labeled Smart Socket. If you want to change the name of this all you have to do is click on the little pen mark over there and rename it. And that's what I'm going to do. I have renamed it Demo. I'm going to save it. And now we are going to click on Done. We're going to have on the screen, there's going to be something, Switch 1 and Switch 2. This is one beautiful thing I was saying about this, is using one plug. You don't have to wipe out all your other plugs. Using one plug, you get control of two outlets, and you can control two individual outlets. So let's see what we have here. I want to show you an example. I have two lamps plugged in. And I want to show you the two lamps right now. They are over there. We have two lamps that are powered up. And now I'm going to plug them into the outlets. We are powered up now. Both bulbs are on. And now I want to show you how this works with the cell phone. You can see the reflection on the cell phone that's light one, light two. So I'm going to click on switch one, and one of these is going to go off. How easy is that? I'm going to click on switch two. Switch two, both lights are off. Switch one, switch two. What other options do you have? You have a schedule. You can schedule either switch. So what you can do over here is you can add time data to let 
the system know when you want to turn the lights on and off. You also have a countdown timer, which works the same way, letting it know when you want to turn the lights off. And the final feature I want to show you is controlling this with Alexa. Alexa, turn on demo. Okay. And we can see both switches came on. Alexa, turn off demo. Okay. I am going to leave a link in the description of this video. If you click on it, it will take you directly to Amazon where you can order the WP2 from GoSun, the smart plug that works on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi system. You do not need a hub. Very simple to install, very simple to use, and like I said, the incredible advantage is you get two outlets for the space of one socket. One final feature, if you are close to the socket and you just want to turn it off, press the button and they go off. Press the button and they go on, just like a regular switch for a light. I want to show you a problem you are going to run into if you're setting this up with Alexa and it is not explained, so that's why I'm doing the video for this right now. We can turn it on with Smart Socket. We can say, Alexa, turn on Smart Socket. Alexa, turn on Smart Socket. Okay. Alexa, turn off Smart Socket. Okay. And that is being controlled by Switch 2. But if I say, Alexa, turn off Switch 2, Alexa doesn't know what to do. In the back you hear it says, I did not find a de device named Switch 2. That is not the problem with the switch. That's the problem with Alexa. So I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. So I'm going to tell Alexa to discover. Alexa, discover devices. Starting now in the background we hear it say, starting discovery. So what's going to happen is Alexa is going to go out and discover everything that it did not know existed before, which is this new smart switch. It knows the name that I put in there before that I showed you. It knows smart socket, but it does not know switch one or switch two. So we're going to wait for discovery to take place. You can do that with your Echo Dot, or you can do it with your cell phone. In the background, it just said, I found two new devices, so let's see if this works now. Alexa, turn off switch two. Okay. Alexa, turn on switch two. Okay. There we go. So, everybody's probably going to run into this exact same problem. It has nothing to do with the switch. It has to do with Alexa. And with the secret that I just told you, Alexa is going to discover the new devices, the new names that you put in there. So if you rename these, you're, all, you're going to have to do that again. You're going to have to say, Alexa, discover. And it will discover, Alexa, discover new devices.